Oh fuck, 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 fuck. I haven't touched the thing. That's a good thing. Uh, I need to get you in the thing. There's a square city in a square state with a big building with a gray face. It has big rooms and round clocks and big windows. And look down on a block at the square people crossing wide streets, smiling with square smiles with their round teeth. They have square jaws and stiff upper lips. And all the chips off the block means the block is chipped. So I'm just trying to get in shape. I'm trying to get in shape. There are square meals you get for a day. Take your box lunch on your lunch break. If you do fair business, you'll get square paid. It's a straight path to the fair way. There's a Rectangle for your child care. Your kids can learn math and play. Four square, there's a box car. It has six seats and a box spring mattress with a thousand thread count sheets. But I'm just trying to get in shape. I'm trying to get in shape. You go. Great, I'm actually really good. I had a great day today. Good. Very positive on you. Have a great day. Have a great day. Great day. Is everyone having a bad day? Yeah. 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 Quite a bad day given the fact that I'm here and you're in Sheffield. Round pig, there's a credit card. A dollar bill and a parking space. Since you're plaid shirt and it's my textbooks, it's these bathroom tiles everywhere I look, booked a round trip ticket and saw from the air that the whole damn country is made of squares, so I'm, I'm just trying to get in shape. Well, welcome back to the Toad Sessions, that was Squares by Mr. Charles Latham. How'd you do? Very well, thank you. Um, Without wishing to sort of pass on too much from the uh, the song that you just played, you, you're sort of something of a legend in Edinburgh, despite the fact that this is what the f is this the first time you've been? This is the first time, yeah. Your song Hard On has been covered in this town numerous times. Merceau, Withered Hand, both played it on on numerous occasions. I was going to say, you said you didn't particularly want to play it to, for the session because you kind of felt that you liked other versions yeah, I, better. Yeah, I do, yeah. yeah. What I, does that feel like when it's your song? Is that a good thing? Is it complimentary or is it a bit annoying? No, it's it's the opposite. I mean, that's actually, um, it's. I guess it sounds a bit, you know, uh, I, 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 it sounds a bit of like an ego thing, but that was one of my goals start, you know, starting out as a songwriter. I figured if you had somebody that was willing to actually spend the time to learn one of your songs and, and play it, that was, you know, kind of the pinnacle you could reach, so. A beard, a beard, a beard, a beard A beard don't make you a man No, it takes something else Something I'll never have And a beer, a beer, a beer, a beer a beer makes you feel good Like if you want you could Kick anybody's ass And a knife, a knife, a knife, a knife Do you have any idea when you're writing a song? It's like, oh, this is the one that for some reason people are going to latch on to or do you love all your creations equally? No, I mean, and the only, the only, uh, the only annoyance that I have with that particular song is it took me, it, it didn't take any time to write and there's been some that I've really labored on mm -hmm. <laughs> and no one's picked up on them, so, you know, I, I kind of thought, I, I'm very happy for it, however, sometimes I think like, why couldn't someone want to cover the one that I spent two weeks working on, you know, instead of the one that's three minutes, but, you know. Do you find that with audience responses sometimes, they respond to songs and you just think, what, that one? Yeah. <laughs> all the time, yeah. 
But that's sort of the joy of doing it, I think, you know. I pray from my toilet seat, make my holy life complete. My God hears me when I speak, can you say the same? My God lets me have my way, I can pray for it not to rain today. I can chant cars off the motorway when I'm late for work. There's a Nico Case song called uh, Thrice All American. That's my example of a song. I wish I could write. I wish I could write a serious, pretty song like that. <laughs> I haven't been able. That's the that's what Save it for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> my perfect church is built only for one. Where I am the priest and the congregation. My one regret is that no one can come. It's gonna be awful lonely in this private head. Well, that was uh, My Perfect Church by uh, Charles Latham, Toad Session Recording. Um, we've got a couple of tracks for the. Uh, well, actually, no. Sorry, we do have a couple of tracks and podcast in a minute, but you were saying that you've just moved down from is it Philadelphia to, where was it again? I'm living in Tennessee. Is, is that really the place for that kind of a song? <laughs> um, you'd be surprised, actually, because I, I, I played it in Nashville and it seemed to, it seemed to go over okay. I'm still here. <laughs> I, I can't take it anymore. I'm sick of living alone in this city I'm sick of being poor But I know a place Where rent is free Where I don't pay for the groceries I don't pay for the utilities I'm moving back to my They're lonely And I've got things I need to think about And I've been feeling Like I grew up too fast Sometimes moving forward means first That you gotta move back <laughs> Just pretend that never happened Oh, actually, we're gonna have to go back and do the joke again <laughs> <laughs> but how, how long till things get weird? Until we're arguing about my curfew, till I'm stealing their beer. Because you were talking about home recording, do you still record everything yourself, basically in your living room or your basement? Yeah, or it? yeah, I do. Yeah. Do you actually enjoy the recording process? I actually just. Uh, I do. Yeah, and um, I mean, you know, it's at at first it was just like you know, it really was like a a wonderland. Well, I mean, you know, probably to a fault, because I, I, I went a little. T I, ha I had a tendency when I first started to really overproduce everything. Uh, but <laughs> certainly, you, the earlier recordings that I know of yours are uh, well. I'm trying to put this as delicately as possible. The recording is rough and ready. Yeah. To say, I mean, is that an aesthetic that you just enjoy anyway, or was it just the best that you could do at the time? Actually, no, it can't be the best that you could do at the time because there's a phone ringing at the start of one of the songs and things like that. Yeah, yeah. And well, the end of one just gets cut <laughs> off, like as if you're just, ah, oh, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it, it was a little both. It was a little bit of a, a lack of skill, and then I kind of, uh, I don't know which, you know, which <laughs> informed the other, but I like to think, yeah, that then I, I sort of did like the aesthetic, and I liked, uh, you know, I, I liked the, the realism. And again, the immediacy of it. It sounds, you know, I like for it to sound like what it is. Fascination. <laughs> 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 it's literally true. 